And now, oh, I have a setting spray from Lawless too. Long wearing skin smoothing makeup protecting. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a title. Hi. What up, it's Minna. In this video, we are trying out a lot of new products, okay? And one of which is a foundation from Lawless. Lawless has some claims on this foundation. Your girl is feeling the lioness presses. I just sprayed her down with my good old Amazon water bottle. And then inside of here, we have liquid fabric softener and water. That's how you detangle your synthetic wigs. Hello, get into it. I'll link the hair below and the jewelry and the dress in case you are interested. We're gonna jump into the video. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you are also in my text community it's free anyone can join including you so let's go also make sure you comment because i do random giveaways you may or may not want to give away you might i don't know it's random so <laughs> to enter just thumbs up comment all of that all of the things you just might okay i am feeling myself today hi Ew. all right i have a few new items that i put into this cute container from amazon we'll link it to and some organizers too which is so nice i'll make sure i link the organizers too so cute i just got myself together this past weekend and i feel really good about it so praise the lord for that now let's see if i have a primer in here do i or do i not i do i have this makeup forever pore minimizing step one primer it's a 24 hour soothing base what does that mean we're gonna be soothed for 24 hours is that a thing let's see hold on first i'm gonna prime my lips i always do that first so although i don't have a new lip primer let me do this step because otherwise it feels strange let's start off with a little bit because i don't know what to expect oh it's like oil free it looks like not ah yeah it looks a little silicone-y like nothing like it looks like it goes down to be a powder interesting okay here we go let's we'll start with the cheeks it's feeling like oh what is that it's in the container it looks light pink but it doesn't go on the face pink gosh silk canvas tatcha mm -hmm. it's looking like tatcha silk canvas i'm doing this because i already have a moisturizer in spf last thing i want is to pick up my product although very lightly i can do this can you hear that <laughs> asmr okay wow interesting it looks powdery you might enjoy this obviously it has taken away the shine on my face that was left over from my moisturizer and spf going gently again not to make anything start to pill up interesting okay i like it let's see how it behaves under the new foundation for foundation i'm pulling up the information right now we have the new lawless conceal the deal long wear full coverage foundation i have three of these and looking at Sephora's site it's obviously a liquid full coverage long wearing formula hydrating vegan clean at Sephora my god all right we got hydration today whoa hold on it's a long wearing lightweight full fluid foundation that delivers modern <laughs> full coverage with a self-setting natural matte finish. What does that mean? Finish is natural, coverage is full. Wait, hold on. Blendable, buildable, feels like a serum. Wow, blurs pores, smooths texture, covers imperfection. Silicone and talc free. All right, all right, all right. I am intrigued. What do you mean by self-setting? Hold on, okay, first. Dang it, I always forget to do this before I prime. That's fine, I'll just go down to the side of my cheeks. So. The colors that I have here, first of all, comment, let me know if you have any interest in this. Have you heard of Lawless outside of me mentioning the mascara? And if you have, what products of theirs do you like? Have you tried anything? Do you plan on trying anything? Do you plan on trying, do you plan on trying this foundation? I have Toasted Almond, Rosewood, and Cocoa. I was sent the, the last three shades. <clears throat> so this is Toasted Almond. This is third to last. I already know it's not gonna be my shade. This is very deep with warm, neutral, undertones it's out of stock too wow they are right this does look like a serum look at that wow hold on it's giving me nyx total coverage pro Cons th that long name is giving me that vibe like serum type concentrated foundation all right this obviously is not my color so i'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother putting it on my face it'd be a waste of my time this would be a good oh now i'm shaking it it really is like a serum interesting Oh, okay, hold on, hi, hold on, oh, okay. And then the second to last color is Rosewood. Here is Rosewood. Rosewood is very deep with reddish undertones. This is not gonna be, ooh, wowzers. That's not gonna be me at all, wow. This looks like a pigment, like, 
Who would be that color? Wow, okay. I mean, we're gonna see what the coverage looks like because maybe blend it out. This is okay, but just looking at it, it's like, what is this? This looks like a blush or something. Here's the last color and this is Coco Ultra Deep with Warm Neutral Undertones. That should be for me. Let's see. I'm not gonna just squeeze this on my face like y'all be doing. If you be doing that comment, let me know. I don't be doing that, okay? Hold on. I need to see what's, see what's going on. Hold on. Ultra Deep? I was thinking something much darker. Darker. Okay, this is, wait, did I not mix it well? Hold on, cause that does not look good. This looks a lot better. All right, let's try this. Using my Morphe foundation brush, which I have grown to love, honestly. I really have. Again, this is the color Coco, C-O, C-O. All right, satin on the cheek. Looks harsh right now, but we're gonna blend, all right? This does feel like a serum. Does remind me of the NYX Total Control Pro Drops. Full coverage, not thick feels liquidy, like watery, but it's not. The pigment is high. Okay, and this is natural finish, they said, right? Okay. What are you thinking so far? You gotta blend it and finish the face. But so far, I'm kinda into it. Hold on. The color is a little bit like, blah, blah, but it does need to be blended. So let's do that. Okay, hold on. As I'm blending this in, something is happening. At first it looked really shiny and now, what in the world? It is, it has set. Now I understand, wow. But it does look natural. It has set, it does look natural. It does look really good. This color is good for me. I would obviously never just wear this by itself. No foundation looks good on me by itself. None. I can tell by the way it looks by itself that it will look bomb when I finish my face, but no foundation just, no. Like the face, the neck, just not gonna work out. But I already know that when I finish this face, it's gonna be good. Wow, hold on. This is giving Total Control a run for its money. Total Control doesn't self-set, Abby. But what does it look like when it's done? When the whole face is done, they all look the same to me. It really depends on a wear test. Like, is it gonna get shiny after a while? It's going to. This is giving matte. Because it's self-setting, when you powder your face, set your face, it tones down the shine, almost making it matte until your natural oils start to shine through. If this is a self-setting natural makeup, why not be called a matte foundation? Self-setting is more fancy. Cause I've never heard of that. This is this, wow, no wow, no for real. Okay, yeah, I do see the natural finish aspect of it because I can see a little bit of my blemishes right here. It's nothing huge. There's no problem for me, but I can see it. But wow, nah yo, if you're someone that doesn't do a lot to their face. If you're one of those basic and blessed baddies, you're gonna like this because I'm, I'm still padding because I wanna do something to it. This looks so stinking good. <laughs> This is the color Coco. This is the darkest it goes. If you're darker than me, you can forget it. Which is a problem, Annie Lawless. What's the deal? Cause I was thinking that this is gonna be real. Ooh, not me making a mess, bless his name. Uh, Annie Lawless, excuse me. Not enough shades, that's a problem for me, you know? But, wow. Okay, let me clean my hand off. But wow. Nah, yo, I don't even wanna do anything else. Like, I really like how this looks and feels. Yes, it is self-setting, but I still see a little bit of shine right here in a good way, but we need to continue on. Let's continue on. Okay, do I have, yes, I do have a new concealer. I was in Target the other day and I picked up my good old, oh, faithful, cause you know when I did my declutter, I lost a lot of stuff, yo. I lost a lot of stuff, so I am on the road to adding into my stash what I need. I picked up the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn, baby. I used to use Toffee back in the day when I was real light when I came to Houston, but I've gotten a lot darker, obviously. I, mean, I am gonna still put them back in my hand. Even when I used to use this back in the day, I still did this because I need control when I'm applying this product. This is what Fawn looks like. It's still pretty light. Not only that, sometimes this separates and then when you squeeze it, the oil and the water is coming out and it looks real dumb. Don't want that issue on my face at all. Putting this inside my kit because we we gonna be using that for now on. Got my sponge, link in these below. Watch my video on how to use a makeup sponge and what you might be doing wrong with that. That's a very recent video. Look at my playlist for beginners, number one, okay? And number two, just, you'll find this video in my recents. All right, so let's go. Applying this to the middle of the face. This is still light. I could have gone darker. Oh yeah, this is still light. <laughs> I could have gone darker. I didn't know if one was this light. It's been a minute since I used this, but it's all good though. This is still good. Yo, for what? Five, three dollars, depending on where you buy it from. I haven't used LA Girl Pro Conceal in maybe three years. This is good. 
Wow. I forgot how good this was. Oh yeah, she gonna be back on the rotation. Cause she was a fave back in the day anyway. And then, you know, I got a little bougie. I pushed it to the side cause I had other things to do. I was trying out some other stuff and I forgot all about her. Oh no, she is back in front row. All right, now I've already contoured my face and now it's time to bronze. Now the contour is sitting real pretty. You see what I'm saying? I could set it and keep on moving. I have not set my under eye. I think it looks really good outside of the normal creasing. Let me know what you think about the concealer. I have this product from Makeup by Mario. This is the deepest color of the Soft Sculpt Bronzer. This was sent separately from the other kit that I got from them. I don't know why, it was on back order perhaps. This is looking a lot lighter on the camera than it is in person. Now, let me use this to set my my contour. I'm hesitant because the contour is dark. Obviously bronzer adds warmth. I don't know that I want bronzer right now, but I want to try out as many new products as I can. So let me just use it anyway. Taking my Sephora 59 brush, tapping into this a little bit, tapping off the excess. And let's see how this looks. I'm using it to set my contour. All right now, all right now we can see the the bronzer, can't we? This is just the contour looking more neutral, chocolatey. This line is from my head tie. And then this side is looking noticeably warmer, right? I still have not put on my face powder, hence why the face powder is so important. Like, I just need to bring all this in a little bit. All right, this bronzer is nice. I was concerned about the color. It is nice. Now, you might feel like my contour is heavy. <laughs> But let me do my face powder and that's going to tone down the highlight and help bring everything in, you know? But this is looking pretty. I was concerned. I really was. I almost gave it away, but I'm glad I tried it because it looks really good. I like this. Thank you. Okay, this is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition Powder Foundation in the color Deep Cool 3. I like this. Very affordable. Putting this on my highlighted areas. Oh, I didn't set my under eye. Oh my gosh, I'm skipping a step. See? Too much talking, got me all confused. Hold on. Ugh. Goodness gracious. I gotta set my under eye first. Hold on. Wait, was I not gonna set the pow set the face because it was self-setting? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. We already saw how gorgeous it was. I'm just so used to what I do that I just have to do what I do. And what I do is all this. I do all of these things. Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Setting Powder under my eyes right now. And really everywhere I have the highlight usually, but I skipped a step because I was overzealous. That happens sometimes. Back to my CoverGirl powder. This tones everything down, just makes it all look even and fantastic. I normally do this before bronzer, but again, I got, I got ahead of myself. I just, I'm excited, you know? And I just was in such a rush to try the products that I forgot to adhere to my normal steps, but here we are, that's okay. The reason why I do the bronzer after the face powder is because I don't want dark colors on this powder brush. Although if you're looking at it, you're like, why isn't that brush washed? Well, questions that need answers. Like why aren't your brushes washed, you know? This is a plush powder powder brush from Complex Culture. I love how big and fluffy it is. All right, going over everything. Now this is the excess product. Think it looks phenom. What do you think? Ooh, I am loving this bronzer, baby. Hi, hello. I think it's gonna give Charlotte Tilbury a run for her money. Charlotte is more neutral. It's looking the same on the camera. Hold on. Wow, is this a do- mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you can't see. Yeah, you can see, can't you? Charlotte is more neutral than Mario, but they're both so good. I like them both, okay? All right, now you know normally right now I use my liquid luminizer, which is a liquid highlighter from Rare Beauty, but Jaclyn Cosmetics, which I was so shocked about, did send me some PR items, which I'm grateful for, so thank you. This is their Exposure Highlighter. I don't know if I wanna use this one or a different one, but I set this one aside, so we gonna just use this one. It is absolutely gorgeous, what do you think? Now this is more on a go. You know when I do my highlight, I like it to be more on the silver, but let's just see. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. I haven't done powdered highlight in a long time. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this just because of that. I just like to do my cream highlight. It's looking really pretty. I got some other ones. I should have chosen. I'm going light because I don't know what this is gonna look like. It's been a while since I've done powder. Comment, let me know if you normally do liquid highlight or powder highlight. The liquid highlight just melts so beautifully into the skin. Let's see. This is looking pretty. I'm not blown away because I'm so used to the Rare Beauty one. I'm gonna do down the nose. 
which normally I pinch this. I'm being very daring right now. Normally I pinch this. Okay, let me pinch it. Let me stop. I'm doing a very light hand at first because I, I don't know what to expect. This looks really pretty. It, I think it looks great. I'm not blown away. I'm not screaming off the rooftops because I'm so sold on liquid highlighter. I just am. But this, does this look pretty? Absolutely. Do I like it? Yes, I do. If you're afraid of liquid highlight <laughs> and you prefer a powder, which I know a lot of you are, I'm gonna do a video just on how I apply the liquid highlight and how not to apply it, how I've learned to do it the right way. I, I have made some mistakes with that. Then that'll be helpful for you. But if not, that's definitely a good option. Okay, now, do I have a new blush? I don't. I don't have a new blush, so let's do my usual. And you're probably like, oh my God, the same blush all the time. I know. You know, when you find things that work for you, like, don't let anyone bully you into changing it. Just do what you like. Elf Cosmetics, oh, okay, let me talk about this. I bought so many of these, right? And I always call this always fiery. I'm so annoyed. You have to forgive me. This looks like a bronzer. <laughs> Oh my God, are we even gonna see it? Are we even gonna see it? I'm so annoyed because I always call this always fiery and I have always fiery. And I believe that's the one that's in my suitcase when I travel. This is actually called always spicy. I know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an atrocity. I get it. It is an actual atrocity. I understand. There's just so many names and words that I have to remember. You've got to understand that it's very overwhelming. And I just, I just forgot. Like I just can't. <laughs> this one's called always spicy. You can see this blush, can't you? I'm building it up because I did the bronzer and I want to see it. I can still see my skin underneath here. So I like the foundation, natural finish. Yes, it is great if you like a medium coverage type foundation. I would not call this full coverage. She said it was full coverage. No, well, not for me. If my skin tone was more even, if I didn't have light and dark spots, which naturally almost everyone has. If I didn't have that, then it, this could be considered full coverage. But since I do have normal skin, this is not full coverage. No, ma'am. I like it, but I can still see some stuff. And now let's do the eyebrows. Yeah. What do we have for eyebrow? We got, oh, I got, I got cork lip pencil from MAGA. I cannot wait to use it. It's been far too long. We're going to get to the lip in a second. We got to do eyes first. I'll be. Let's see what JP talking about when it comes to these brow pencils. All right. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Clear Brow Gel. I like it. I made the mistake in my other video with going in and doing my brows right after I applied this, meaning <laughs> the brows weren't dry. So the brow product was sl slipping. It's annoying. So we do need to let this dry. Okay. Make sure you let this dry. Hello. Don't be in such a rush. All right. This is the Juvia's Place. Ice Sculpt Eye Shade Brow Pen in the color dark brown. I'm gonna see what this is gonna do in the front of my brow. Ooh, this is darker than I thought. Hold on. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta be. I gotta get. Make sure this is a precise, <laughs> precise application. Wow. Wow. It's showing a lot more than I expected. Do you see that? Wowzers. This is good. Wow. Taking my finger to, cause this. I have it in my hand and it dries and it doesn't move. Whoa. Okay. That's good. I had a product like this, Kyra does this, and there's a product that she uses, I forget the name, I bought it, and it was too dark. So I don't use it, but this, I'm so shocked. I did not think that the dark brown was gonna show me. I thought I was gonna need the, the black one, which I do have here too. It's not black, is it? Oh, it's ebony. Okay, wow. So now let me, I don't know, should I take it and fill in the rest of the brown? No. I like it more for the, sh the upward strokes. Wow, that looks good. What do you think? Okay, this is actually a lot darker in the front of my, my face than I wanted. Like, I was not expecting that. So I'm gonna like somehow, yeah, try to soften this up. This is a really great product, I must say. Now I know next time to go a little easy. Okay, this is their Eye Sculpt Eyeshade Brow Pencil in the color Ebony because you know, oh, it has a brush. You know on the tail end, it does need to be darker. So let's do that. Let's darken up the tail end. This is a nice, nice tip. Not too small, not too thin, I mean. And let's do that and see how this comes out. All right, so I've gotten the eyes done a little. I kept it simple. I was going to do an actual eye look, but I forgot I have on a red dress. Put on your red dress. Hey. 
and slip on your high heels. So for that reason, the face should be simple with a statement red lip, which I'm gonna do because I don't do very often. So I was looking for a red lip and I found this one by Giorgio Armani. We'll do that in a second. I am going to put on my Old Faithful D22 lashes right here. Links are always below. So let's do that. And then we gonna put on the lip and then we gonna have a final discussion. This right here was already a fave from Lawless. This is the one and done mascara. This joint is phenomenal. Depending on how long you've been here, then you know that I used to rant and rave about It Cosmetic Superhero. Now that mascara is still good, but which one is better? It's this one, hands down. It is this one, hands freaking down. It Cosmetic Superhero, it needed to get clumpy and dry in order for it to work the way I liked it. This one right out the tube, it is coming out swinging. This is just, oh my gosh, you gotta try this. Like you have to. Love how that looks in the bottom lashes. That's how I gauge how good a mascara is, is based on how it looks on the bottom lashes. Alrighty. It's called Glam Guard by Lawless. Let me test her out. This is before the lip, obviously. Let me get my fan, hold on. Let me see how she is. Is she a super soaker? What is she? I don't like surprises like that. Okay, hold on. Okay, she's fine. She's she's soft, she's gentle. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Wow. She's so gentle that I wouldn't expect her to be in this pump. I would expect her to be in a continuous spray-like form, like the Morphe one. That's how gentle it comes out. Lovely. Okay, I am liking this. What do they say? Long wearing skin soothing, makeup protecting. Come enjoy that. Come on. Let me find out Lola is talking, trying to do stuff for the kids. We're not gonna let them go though, because the, the foundations don't go dark enough. We already talked about that, but I was able to find my color. That's not fair though. Other sisters also need to enjoy. This is the Giorgio Armani lipstick that I was talking about. What I don't like about these lipsticks is that all of the tubes look the same. So when I first went and grabbed it, I thought this was a red color. Now this is a red color, but I had grabbed so many other ones before this color that were not red. All of the tubes look like this. Branding, I get it, but no, no. Then if that's the case, at least make the sticker the color of the lippy. Otherwise you gotta open up every single lipstick to find out what color it is. That to me is just annoying, okay? That's just my, that's what I wanna say when it comes to that. This is the color, it's called, it's Lip Power 403. Let's I already swashed it on my hand and I liked the color. I like this teardrop applicator, that's cute. We're doing a satin glossy type red. I prefer matte, but you let me know what you think about this. All right, all right, all right. What do we think? What I tell you, list. First of all, 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 a red lip is either going to highlight your white teeth or it's going to highlight yellow teeth, okay? You've got blue based reds, you've got orange based cool reds. You just got to be very careful because depending on the kind you get and depending on the shades of your teeth, that's a whole different story. Watch my teeth whitening video if you wanna learn more about how, how I get my teeth to be so white. <laughs> but I just wanted to say that you can see how white this is making my teeth look. My teeth are already white, okay? It's just highlighting it, hello. I like this lippy. This lipstick is giving gloss. It's giving gloss with pigment and I am enjoying it. So I do like the lipstick. I do like the foundation. I do love the like and love, like the, the bronzer. I did not do an eye look, obviously. Mascara and eyelashes to keep it natural. Did my usual. I don't like the highlight only because, first of all, the highlight looks really beautiful. I just don't like it because I'm just so sold on liquid. I just can't get with powder anymore. I just can't. So if, again, if you like powder, go for it. It's really nice and beautiful. I'm just so sold. I just cannot be, my mind cannot be changed. Otherwise, I like the way this look came out. I want you to let me know in the comments what you think about the whole entire thing. Do you plan on getting any of the products that I used? Links are always below. Make sure you are subscribed because hello is free, all right? And and as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.